lunch and fishing yeah next Squ time put a jumper on yeah next time I put a jumper on and it's squid for tea if Helen pulls a finger out or pulls a squid out So what a beautiful morning. So nice. We we will have spent about three nights in this location. Uh, we we did actually come here to, to film the graveyard. Uh, and there's a, an area where we can walk around which we did yesterday nice sunny day yesterday so we went for a walk and we saw some guys actually fishing <clears throat> for squid so it's so like got us thinking if it's nice today then we'll get the bikes out and we'll head down to the local decathlon which is about 10 minutes ride away on the on the bikes pick up some lures for squid and this afternoon we'll go fishing so tag along today we're going to go down I see it's about a 10 minute ride and we're just going to go down and we're going to see whether we can buy some lures from the local decathlon store and hopefully maybe pass a patisserie on the way So we've only been on the bike 10 minutes and we've got lost. My fault, it's although... <laughs> Alright, 20 minutes then, 20 minutes. And I'm going to accept responsibility because this on Google Maps is shown as a road. And we went past it, didn't we? So we can see the decathlon across the farmer's field. We just need to do a little bit of a, a detour. Alright, dear? We're right. Fool for attracting wild boar. Could have done with that down in uh, in the forest of Dean. We just had fun at the payments. Uh, it's a self-scan thing, but when you actually got to the checkout. The, the self scanner already knew what you had in, in your basket basically so that threw us a little bit but yeah we've got some lures uh, I've got myself a leather belt uh, or needing a new belt so we're going to head back to camp now and have lunch and then we're going to do some fishing this afternoon so uh, yeah all's good so cold it may be nice and sunny but I've had to squeeze into Helen's waterproof for the ride back with that cold gear don't get stolen so Helen's got the rods we've just got the the spinning rods out about a 10 minute walk down to the the landing where uh, where we saw a guy catch a, a squid yesterday we've enjoyed the bike ride i believe lockdown bikes never been used since lockdown however i said to uh, uh one of those plans with trying to pacify more time in the camper is we need more things to do 
rather than just driving every day so bringing the the, the pedal bikes this time gives us the opportunity to go that little bit further than walking having things like fishing rods again it's a nice day let's try to catch tea uh, Helen's going for the squid and I'm going for the bass so let's see whether we catch anything okay so I've just been just been giving Helen the instructions how to catch squid because I watched YouTube last night that, that makes me a professional uh, obviously if she doesn't catch any squid then she's done it wrong So we've been here how long? Two hours? Three hours? Since lunch and we've caught nothing but after saying that nobody else has. So I think we're gonna head back to the camper, maybe have a, a cup of tea. And then maybe have his tea, then come back here later. Uh, maybe after dark. Just have a stroll down here and try a little bit later on. Everything's set up so it's only a case of bringing the rods down and uh, and trying his luck. So, right back to the camp here. <laughs> First ever squid I've skinned and prepared. Thankfully, YouTube has shown us how to do it. You're doing a lovely job, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>